Good evening. Welcome to Feet Forward with the Illinois Podiatric Medical Association, a special November edition, sort of a Thanksgiving holiday um, edition today. We've got a lot of ground to cover because a lot of people who are going to be going Christmas and holiday shopping mm -hmm. are going to be covering a lot of ground next Friday. We're going to get into that a little bit later. Um, we do want a little wrap up, a little housekeeping thing. Um, for those of you who, who didn't take advantage of this free offer, the volunteer podiatrist of the IPMA were um, in the IPMA headquarters all day today taking calls from people around the state um, who were calling during the National Diabetes Awareness Observation. Um, podiatrists were calling attention to the connection between diabetes and foot-related problems. Mm -hmm. And we got a lot of calls. We helped a lot of people. And for those of you who missed it, there's still more chances to, to, to get in touch with a podiatrist. There's two, two real ways. One is um, the Chicago Tribune has a blog uh, that's written by Julie Deerdorf. And for those of you who don't know who Julie is, she's the personal health columnist for the Chicago Tribune. She runs a column, she runs a blog called Julie's Health Club. And she was kind enough to post some of the information about the IPMA call-in in her, on her blog the other day. And she invited her readers and visitors to post questions for podiatrists to answer. So uh, if you go to the Chicago Tribune site, which is chicagotribune.com, you can find Julie's Health Club blog. And you go to her section on the IPMA call-in event, and you can post your own question. Mm -hmm. And uh, both myself and other um, uh, podiatric physicians will be monitoring the site throughout the next couple of days. We'll get back to you probably in an hour or two because we're sort of uh, uh, bird dogging those that that site, mm -hmm. and you'll get an answer without calling anybody, and it's completely private. You don't need to worry about um, uh, any kind of private medical information, and we'll be very discreet and trying to answer your question as fully as possible and give you some referrals if you'd like to. So remember that, the chicagotribune.com, Julie's Health Club blog, that's one great way to do it. You can also go to the IPMA Facebook fan page and post um, a, a comment there, and that is facebook.com slash Illinois Podiatric Medical Association. So we have our own fan page. We welcome your posts, and we're happy to get back to you um, promptly. Um, tonight we have... Um, Podiatric physician Lisa Shaney with us, and Dr. Shaney has practices in Gurney and Chicago, and which is kind of a nice commute for you. Yes. You get the uh -huh. country and the city. Oh, bit. yeah. <laughs> um, so she's here to talk to us a little bit about some of the challenges that people are going to face during the holidays. Mm -hmm. During Thanksgiving, we, we, we talk about what we're grateful for and what we give thanks for, and most people don't give thanks to their feet. But I got to tell you, if you're going to be on your feet on Black Friday, Absolutely. when you get home, you're going to be grateful <laughs> to, to take those shoes off and rub them. And you've got a couple of cool tips about that. So, so why don't we go right into some of the things that people are going to experience during holiday. And you, and you can give us little tips about ways to sort of mitigate that experience and, and make it a little bit more comfortable. And of course, we will be taking your calls tonight too. So feel free to call in whenever you want. Sure. Well, I think if you're going to be doing a lot of shopping, you have to make sure that you have very good, comfortable shoes. Uh, many of us like to look very fashionable uh, wearing high heel shoes. So we want to make sure that those shoes are fitting properly. Uh, if you're going to be out all day, some of those uh, shoppers get out pretty early in the morning trying to get that, uh, that hot new toy for their child. Um, it, it's very important to wear good, comfortable shoes, especially if you're going to be standing and doing a lot of walking or going to be going through different malls and such as the malls typically have either marble flooring or they have uh, you know very difficult hard tile to walk on mm -hmm. so very important to wear good comfortable shoes so that's one thing that, that I definitely recommend instead mm -hmm. of maybe wearing the real high heel shoes you know save those for going out at night um, so that's always one good good tip no need to waste your fashionable look at Walmart right correct exactly exactly apologies to Walmart <laughs> um, now you had mentioned something before the show about a stretch a little stretching exercise people mm -hmm. can do while they're mm -hmm. waiting lines tell us about that a little bit and how sure. that how that can help. Well, if you're standing online, especially if you're waiting again for that toy uh, or that the door to, doors are open in the store, um, you can do some toe raises and, and just kind of lift your heel up off the ground and that can help to pump a little bit of the blood back and forth in and out of the calf muscles. Certainly if you are um, out and about all day, you can certainly do some calf stretching. You can lean up against a wall or a countertop um, and just kind of push your foot back and kind of get a good calf stretch and that will definitely give you uh, some relief as well. Uh, some ankle range of motion, some, some ankle circles 
circles back and forth and up and down if you're just going to sit down for a few minutes at lunch or dinner. Uh, so certainly uh, those are some, some good tips. And, and even bringing maybe an extra pair of shoes with you if you decide to try to go for that real fashionable shoe and then your feet start to hurt halfway through the day, you can at least go back to your car and switch out your shoes. And so that could be a, a good little tip as well. So Now, one of the problems that, that, that holiday shoppers face is that they dress for the cold weather mm -hmm. and then they spend all day inside in a mall and your feet just bake and bake and, and <laughs> yeah. there's really no is, is there any real way to sort of uh to, to, to deal with that sort of contradiction well i think you have to just be be aware of if you're going to be shopping inside a mall or if you're going to be out and about say walking down michigan avenue or such i think that just just try to dress appropriately for where you're going to be shopping uh, many shopping malls have kind of indoor parking lots so maybe you can uh, wear your coat to the mall and then maybe leave it in, in the trunk and so just wear a little lighter um, lighter apparel while you're shopping inside i mm -hmm. think um, certainly uh, wear the appropriate shoes and socks if you're going to be out all day and it's very cold certainly uh, maybe wear some wool socks or something that's going to keep you warmer uh, but if you're going to be inside I'd certainly, you know, just dress for the appropriate temperature. I think that's just kind of being aware of where you're going to plan to shop um, when maybe you can just leave a coat in a car in the car or such would be helpful. What, what about people that already have sort of foot problems and they're looking at doing some shopping? How do they help, for instance, plantar fasciitis, which mm -hmm. is a common problem that we talk about on this show a lot, um, mm -hmm. or bunions or corns. Are there ways that people can kind of you know, modify or their minimize. or minimize their <laughs> their foot problems so that they can have an enjoyable you know shopping experience and, sure. and shop for their loved ones i think you know just going back to wearing the appropriate shoes and certainly if you have um, a current problem with with plantar fasciitis or some other uh, ache or pain in your foot make sure that you're wearing the appropriate shoes if you uh, have insoles or orthotic devices make sure you're wearing those inside your shoes as well um, take time to stop and do the stretching and do some range of motion and i think that um, just be cognizant of the foot problem that you have and understanding that if the doctor that you possibly are seeing have, has asked you nicely to wear comfortable shoes or wear your sneakers um, to the mall, I think that that would be probably appropriate, especially if you're going to be on your feet all day. So, yeah. So at the end of an eight hour shopping excursion, and that's probably on the light side for many people. <laughs> for Black Friday, exactly. <laughs> Certainly not for me. Uh -huh. um, but at the end of the day, what kinds of things do you recommend? I mean, pe people typically want to, can't, can't wait to get home and rip off their shoes and, you know, just start rubbing them. But you have some other ways that people can get relief sure, that, that are sure. almost as, or uh, probably even better sure. than just uh, manual. Sure. I think that um, one of the things that I tell my patients is I um, encourage them to buy a little Super Bowl. You can get them at the gumball machines at the at the uh, local grocery stores or if your kids have something. Um, I prefer that over a golf ball and I'll have the patients rub their foot over the little small little uh, rubber ball and mm -hmm. the nice thing about the rubber is that it kind of sticks to your foot a little bit easier and it has a little bit of give to it so it's a little nicer than actually a golf ball which is what a lot of a lot of doctors and a lot of magazine articles will tell you to do so that's one thing that that I suggest to my patients on a regular basis and certainly some foot soaks um, I and I suggest good old-fashioned Epsom salts you can put a couple of handfuls of Epsom salts in some warm water and soak uh, or if you have something fancier like a foot bath or a vibrating foot bath or something mm -hmm. along those lines definitely use those that's definitely a good way to pamper your feet and say thank you at the end of the day uh, can they use more than one Super Bowl at a time or just do you just recommend one at just, a time? I think you know if you want to use and, and many uh, many stores many of the uh, bed and bath type stores will carry foot rollers and other little foot um, little um, foot mm -hmm. tools that you can kind of roll your foot over so you can really take a water bottle and freeze it and roll over the frozen water mm -hmm. bottle or a soup can um, you can use any kind of ball certainly you can use a golf ball I just recommend using a little Super Bowl which is 25 cents at the gumball machine and or you might have some in your handy junk drawer um, but I think that uh, certainly just just pampering your feet a little bit at the end of the day especially if you've been on them elevate your feet certainly can help mm -hmm. it feels kind of nice to do that anyway so